Morning guys, so today's video we're going to show you uh, a workaround with the VW T6s and a reversing camera. Whether you've got the barn door conversion or barn doors or whether you've got the up and over tailgate uh, door at the back here, you can have a reversing camera. Now, if you want to use it with the factory fitted Volkswagen unit, you need to get in contact with us so that we can check compatibility. Because if your radio is of the lower end spec model, it will not be able to cater for a reversing camera. Now what we've done on this one is rather than fit an expensive factory fitted low line VW genuine camera, we've gone in with an aftermarket camera. But what we've done is because the barn doors are, um, means that you can't really fit the camera absolutely dead center. What we've done is we've taken off the grab bar here using a hole saw we've maneuvered around the lock because sometimes the lock on the caddies and others like a t5 is a little bit further over and we bought it as dead center as much as we can now at the point of installation you could get away with just ever so slightly turning this so that it faces more to the center of the vehicle but we like straight lines so we've left it at that now this is a 2019 t6 it's got factory fitted front and rear ops so it's got everything and it's got a nav unit but it didn't have a reversing camera and the customer didn't want to spend seven eight hundred pounds on a genuine low line reversing camera um, that actually from factory would fit center here and it would be really poor image especially if you've got a tow bar so what we do is we jump into the front and we'll show you how we've configured it to work with the um, factory navigation unit and in conjunction with the front and rear sensors Right, so we sat inside this 2019 uh, T6. It's got the factory fitted navigation unit in there, which is the highest spec that you can get in here. Uh, I'm just gonna pull it out because it's a bit of a grotty, miserable day. So as we pull it out here, sure, we can have a bit more. That's much better light for the camera. Okay, so you can see the nav unit. Uh, there's no extra switches or buttons or anything else like that and ordinarily we would be able to um, code the head unit, the radio, to say that it's got a camera fitted. Plus down here Tim can show you that it's got factory fitted rear, front and rear sensors. So when you press the button you've got your normal image of the whole van for front and rear or it would just have rear if you just had the rear opticals. So as soon as I put the car or van into reverse you're going to get the image of the nice back end of the vehicle and if you put your hand slightly closer to the screen uh, with the gesture control you're going to get then also the parking sensors um, now when you take your hand away from that the parking sensors stay on the screen like so and then if i press the parking button so that it goes off and pop it back in if the parking sensors don't detect any obstacles you won't get the image on the display which gives you the full image um, and I, I find that really nice so if I just reverse up a little bit uh, again the camera's doing its best but it's a really miserable day here so there you go parking sensors have just popped up the image is really clean with this aftermarket camera in fact some would say it's probably better than some of the original Volkswagen stuff Let's just pop in a little bit better Okay, there you go, parking sensors have just popped up on the display. Put a hand towards the screen, we can shut up the parking sensors, or you can just hit the screen so that it pops over like that. Now, what we do find with this is that the bigger the screen, the poorer quality the parking sensor image. Let me just pull forward a tiny bit. So there you go, you've got the image up on the screen again, and it's crystal clear. If you had an eight inch or a nine inch system in here, which we do a lot of aftermarket systems, the quality of the camera, the resolution um, gets worse, but this is representative of a really nice camera working with the factory setup. So if you've got a vehicle like this with factory front and rear sensors, or even if you don't, get in touch with us. We'll check to see if your VW radio is compatible then we can fit you an aftermarket camera uh, and they range in price from 300 up to 600 depending on what you've got whether you've got an empty van whether you've got a conversion or whether you've got a full uh, conversion like a, an ocean or a California but get in touch with us anyway and we can do something like this for you um, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and the website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk